the third guy. Okay. Because this conversation is so inspiring and so motivating, like I've started. See, I just said it. Words of affirmation, good communication. So she's getting good communication from one. So she's getting the emotional support and mental support from one of the guys. Remember I tell her that there are six fundamental things that needs to be present to keep a woman happy. She cannot get all of it from one man. <laughs> so she's getting it from multiple guys. So this one is the one that is taking care of good communication. So if you look, if you, if you look behind me, you'll see them written up on my wall behind me. Greetings and welcome. So this video just popped up on my feed. She's dating three guys at once. I'm going to blind react to this video just to see what this is about and see where this goes. So if you're watching this channel for the first time and, or not, I recommend that you hit that subscribe button and hit that bell so that you can be notified when we release life-changing videos. So this channel is focusing on releasing life-changing videos. It's about helping others to grow. So let's go. With Photo Vibrance, you can transform any photo into a mesmerizing moving image in just a few clicks. Hey Steve, I was married for 11 years, been divorced for four years now. So when I first got divorced, dating was like being a fish out the water. And so now dating has picked up for me. But it's still kind of tricky because now I can't, I'm still having to like put three guys into one. Like I'm building dudes here. So let me tell you, my first dude, he works on my house. He's like my handyman. He fixes everything. He cuts the grass. The second guy is like the guy that I can call and, you know, he kind of cash at me a couple of dollars. So, and then I got this third dude and he's like melting my heart and he's a good dude and we pray together. And my question is, how do I know when to turn my player card in? Do I keep all three or do I like try to... You know, just settle down okay, with Okay, I understand. Land. So you, in essence, have built a man. Yeah, I'm kind of like... You couldn't find everything in one man. No, no, it don't work. So you done classified two of them. One of them's a handyman. Handyman. Fix up stuff. The, the fixing. And then the other one is financial. Kind of, sort of, you kinda, know. Kind of, sort of, he's financial. Still independent, but you and know. And the other one, you don't really have a title for him. No, he just melts your dude. heart. Yeah. Oh, well, I know what that is, then. That ain't... <laughs> That ain't hard, man. That's, that's Mandingo, man. Yeah. No, he the no. One, no. He f why, why is it so easy for people just to come out and just talk their business? These women come out and talk their, their business, or this woman is talking her business. And it's com she's comfortable to say that I am dating three men at a time why has the world become so comfortable with these things and if you know me i'm a foundation type of guy i believe that the scriptures is the foundation of life so i believe that's where the foundation is and i believe that people should have shame and in the bible days people would have pride and would have sh would have shame why would a woman be so comfortable to come out and say, I am dating three guys at once? Is she, is she actively sexual with these three men simultaneously? Because for me, that's disgraceful, that's disgusting. And these things have become so normalized in life where a woman can come and a public TV like this that is going to get thousands of views and she's comfortable to say that I'm dating three guys at once and nobody's ridiculing her for that nobody's saying hey it is wrong to be dating three guys at once let's see where this is going bacon Steve no it's not like yeah. that he cooked the cookies yeah he Steve. based a ham the way you wanted based it he fried a chicken just like you like it. <laughs> Extra crispy. Cause see, everybody else had a title. You had the handyman, you had the financial man, then the other one melts my heart. That's <laughs> The other one in there got you chicken lamps off the nightstand, tan wall. No, Steve, he's really Them a good guy. fitted sheets can come up off the corner. That's what he do. 
Yeah. He, he's a sweet guy, Steve. It's, mm. it's a little bit, it's mm. a little bit more what? than that. And this is why, boy, I say woman, I, I have this thing to say women don't really love. Women really just secure. They just secure something. So she's saying there's one that is a handyman. The other one that can help with the finances. So one has money. One can help her with the house. Help her to fix this and put up that there and put up the TV on the wall type of man. A handyman. Fix, fix the pipe if the pipe, the pipe is broken. And then this, there's this one that, that she's saying is a nice dude. He touches the heart. So everything is not in one package. I have learned that general women are hard to please. And there are six fundamental things that are required to please a woman. Modern day women are trying to find the perfect man. The man that has it all, has money, is able to provide emotional support, mental support, is able to, to provide financially, as I just mentioned, is able to protect, is able to be good have, have good communication, right? And then there's, there are the things that makes them happy. So quality time, act of service, gift receiving, words of affirmation, physical touch. But how can a woman be comfortable to come out and say, hey, I'm dating three men at once. Come on a program like this and say, hey, and it's comfortable to say I'm dating three men at once. You see, the foundation is for me is Bible. And back in Bible days, women had pride in themselves. Women had shame, right? You would not hear a woman come out and say, publicly, I'm dating three men at once. As a matter of fact, there are rules and, and, and constitutional rules at those times that were against those type of things. There are constitutional rules against adultery. There are constitutional rules against a woman having too, too, too many men at once. A woman had to be promised to one man and be looking to marry that one man that she's, that she's engaged to. And the moment she had sex with him, they were basically married because she would have been promised to, to, to that one man by her, by her father. What is this? What, what is this? Why, why, where, what, what has the world come to in this modern time? What has the world come to in this modern time? He's a sweet guy. So you're trying to figure out which one you well, should Well, I'm starting to kind of feel like a little bit of guilt. Just a little bit. Because you I, got these three guys. Well, you know, kind of cat out the bag now, but you. Yeah, I mean, you know, I mean, that's a game, you know, but you a woman. Yeah. So how long can you do that? Exactly. So now let's talk about this. Okay. You got the handyman. Okay. He fixed stuff all up around the house. Yes, it, and that really helps my budget. Right. Yeah. But it's your house. Yes. That he fixes. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He don't have a house to fix of his own. <laughs> Hello. Okay. Then you got the guy that's financially stable. Well, he's a good time, you know, and I was married for so long that, you know, sister need to, like, go out and, you know. Okay. I, have I a good nobody, time. You know, you ain't got to keep explaining. It. Okay. We heard you. Okay. We know exactly what's happening. He ain't coming over to the house for free. You know, he ain't bringing a hammer and all this here. You know. <laughs> he come in with a hammer in his hand. <laughs> so then you got the financial guy. He can help out. Well, you know, I can invite my girls out. We'll go out. He's going to buy drinks. He's going to, you know, we're going to have a good time. So he, he paying for stuff. Yes. Yeah. Now, the third guy. So, the third guy. Okay. Because his conversation is so inspiring and so motivating, like, I've started. So because his conversation is so motivating, it's so inspiring. See, I just said it. Words of affirmation. Good communication. So she's getting good communication from one. So she's getting the emotional support and the mental support from one of the guys. So remember I tell you that there, there are six fundamental things that needs to be present to keep a woman happy. She cannot get all of it from one man. <laughs> so she's getting it from multiple guys. So this one is the one that is taking care of good communication. So if you look, if you, if you look behind me, you'll see them written up on my wall behind me. This is the one that is giving good communication, good emotional support, and good mental support. So 
And that you would call that words of affirmation if you're talking about love language. When you talk about love language, you're really just talking about the type of things that makes a woman happy in this case. So this guy is covering those three things. The good communication support, emotional support, which means that she is listening to her and he has the right things to say. So he's saying the right things to her that is reaching her, the emotional side of her. But guess what? Also, the role of a man is to protect and provide. As a matter of fact, that's the main role of a man. So a woman can get emotional support, mental support, and good communication and physical support from her friends. But what she'll get from an intimate relationship or when a guy is serious with her is something that her friends probably are not doing, which is providing financial support. So she's getting that from one man, which is the, one of the main role of a man. She's getting that from one of the men. And then there's one that can come around and, and do handy stuff. And she's confused. Which one of these men am I going to be settling with? What, which one of these men am I going to choose? I'll tell him she is likely going to choose the one that is able to, to pay for things, to financial support. Because based on how women are wired, she's naturally going to, go into, naturally going to be leaning towards the one that is able to provide financially. So even though there's one that is able to do communi good communication and emotional, she can get that from her friends. She's likely going to lean towards the one that is able to pay for stuff. She can pay a man to come in her house and fix things and so forth. It's not easy to find a man that is going to, that can pay, that can take out all of his, her girlfriends and pay for everything. That man is not easy to find. That's likely the one that she's going to lean towards. <laughs> but let's see where this is going. It, it likely would have to be a case where maybe she is one of those in, independent modern women that is making a lot of money. And he's saying, oh, I don't really care about what the man brings to the table in terms of money and so forth. I just want somebody that is going, that, that is going to love me truly. Is she one of those type of females? Let's see if she's one of those type of females. Let's see where this is going to go. And, you know, I'm cranking up some things. And so now it's like, you know, I might can just go over here and I don't need the handyman or the financial yes. guy. So I'm thinking about. Okay, so let me ask you this. Yes. What does he. So she does not need the handyman or the financial guy. So in other words, so she has a house. Right. She does need the financial guy. That's in other words, she's saying she has her own money. So. Now she's going to be saying, oh, she just needs someone that is going to love her. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, <laughs> he's, he's in the wholesale business. He in the wholesale? <laughs> the wholesale? <laughs> he, he into wholesale. <laughs> You know, I done started my business and everything. He wholesaling. <laughs> so. Import and exporting. Important. We know what that is. <laughs> Ain't no poppy fields in Georgia nowhere. <laughs> you know, good and hell well is importing and exporting. So now, this. Uh huh. That cannot be the life you want. It's not. No, but this realization has just came about. Like, this is new. It was fun. It was cool. No, he, was he going to jail. <laughs> He's going to jail. You, this is not how this works. You go, El Chapo went to jail. <laughs> Escobar got killed. What, what you want? You going to go to jail or you going to die. That's the game. So that's you have true. to decide if that's the life for you. That's true. The financial true. guy. Uh-huh is really not your type. No, not at all. How you know? Because, <laughs> because I ain't stupid. If you meet a guy that's your type and he financially set, what is the other dude's fault? You didn't hit the jackpot. He paying the handyman. He's not your type. That's true. The woman, women, y'all real with it now. If y'all find the man of your dreams, he your type and he got money, what and he wants you? I want you too. 
Steve is describing the perfect man. The perfect man that most of these women in this modern day are trying to find. The one that you would define as 666. He's handsome. He's, he has a good body. He's making money. He says the right things. He's able to take care of her. He fills all the six fundamental things that I keep on making reference to. Emotional support, mental support, physical support, able to protect, able to pro provide, there for physical support. He looks good. He communicates well. The perfect man. And in the back of every woman's mind, they are looking for that perfect man. She's seen all the character characteristics that she would want. She's seen, seen them piece, piece in different, different men. But nobody is perfect. Nobody has the full package. And maybe that's what this woman needs to learn in this modern time, that nobody's perfect. Men, it's hard for men to survive in this, in this modern time to, to hold on to a woman and, and keep a woman happy. Because there's so much that you need to do in order to keep that woman happy. All of what she wants is in three men. And it's not all in one man. Now she's confused. Which one do I choose? If everything was in one man, she would have been gone with the one man. She would have been gone with the one man. Whoa, it is hard. I wonder why she's divorced, as a matter of fact. I wonder why she's not with her other husband. How about this right here? Okay. You have not met him yet. Okay. I can agree with that. You don't that. have to pick the lesser of the evils okay. when all three is an evil. He can fix stuff, but he ain't your type. He got money, but he ain't your type. He your type, but he finna go to prison. <laughs> he finna do some time. He's not, none of them are your type. Why don't you elevate? Maybe her husband was not her type either. Women tend to walk away a lot, switch off a lot. Maybe she's one of the type that was hard to please. She walked out on her husband, thinking that she's going to find the perfect man. She's now out in the dating world and she's realizing that, hey, nothing perfect is out there. That's what she's realizing now, you know. <laughs> nothing perfect is out there. The world is not perfect. So she had a husband. They broke up for some reason. Now she's out there in the dating world and she realized that, hey, nobody's perfect. Everything that a woman wants to make her happy, all of it is not just there in one man. To find the perfect man, that will probably be interested in her, is not there. So the man that she really would want, maybe is not going to be interested in her. She's over, she's, look like she's close to her 50. Maybe has a child, more than one child. Um, is a divorced woman. She's not young anymore. So why a man that is perfect has money, everything is going to be choosing her. Why? And it doesn't make sense that she s settles either because that's another problem. This whole concept of settling where the woman feels like, so Steve is right. Don't choose one that you think is not your type or is, is your, you're going to be settling for that person. Because what is going to happen is that down the road, it's going to, the relationship is going to die. Because, hey, she's not going to respect that person. If a woman is just going to settle for a man or just going to settle for you, she's not going to respect you. And that's the fundamental thing. And you see behind me again, what a man really wants is respect, honor, peace, commitment. If a man is not going to be getting that from you and that she's basically going to take up a man. If she takes up one of them, she's going to be settling and then she's eventually not going to respect him. So if she, if she takes up the one that is good at communicating, but he's not able to bring enough money to the table and she's bringing more money than him, she's not going to respect him. The truth be told, a woman will only truly respect the man that is able to provide for her and take care of her. If the woman is earning more than the man, she's likely not going to respect him properly. So this whole, this whole concept of true love, it's not really, that's not easy to find. The truth be told, a woman will 
only really respect a man that is able to truly provide. Bring more to the table than her. Okay. You seem like a nice sister. Why don't you elevate? Okay. Now, let me ask you this. If you could have a man of your dreams, describe him. So I need him to know what his purpose is, what he's going to mm -hmm. do in life. I want him to have a relationship with God. And I want to have fun. Like, my thing is, I'm not just a fun girl, but I don't want you to be boring. You guys got to up your standards a bit. Okay. You got to decide what you... So she needs him to know what his purpose is. He needs, he needs to have a relationship with God. Ah, ah, does, does that even make sense? Uh, he needs to have a relationship with God. He needs to know what his purpose is. Purpose, that's another topic all by itself. What is our purpose? <laughs> what is our purpose? How many people really know their purpose? And what do you define as your purpose? Because that's a deep topic right there. The topic of purpose. What were we put on earth to really do? What is our duty? What did God put us here to do? Right? That's a whole different topic, which I'm not even going to go into. Did God come to you like he did with the prophets and say, this is your purpose? What is your purpose? So I'm not even going to go into that, into that topic. I said, just be the best that you can be at whatever you're called to do in this moment. So whatever your job is, be the best that you can be at it. Be excellent at whatever you do. Give it your all. Yes, you have to find your purpose. Give it your all. Whatever you're doing, no. Consider it as your purpose and give it your all. What's your gift and what's your talent? Find what you're passionate about and give it your all. That's a deep topic right there. Know your purpose. What's her purpose? Does she know her purpose? Have a two lists. You have got to have a list of everything you want in a man and things you will not accept. Okay. Once the will not accept list starts overbearing the what you want list, it, it, take him out. Okay. You don't want an inmate for a husband, so then why are you talking mm -mm. to him? Mm -mm. Okay. Just up your standards, get change your list. You should, you should stop dating all three of them, technically. Okay. You see, do women know their purpose? I know that my purpose as a man is ultimately to be protector and provider. I know that my duty as a man is to be head. But what does that mean? My duty as a man as head means that I protect and I provide. I take care of. And wherever I am, I am responsible for that place. So the house that I have, I'm responsible for that place. And whoever is there benefits from me providing. That's my purpose as a man. But what's the purpose of the woman when I am providing? So she wants a man that loves God and is godly and knows his purpose. Okay. Well, a man that knows his purpose knows that his main role that he was made for, one of them is to provide and protect, is to, is to find a way how to make money and take care of himself and take care of his family. But... All of our basic purpose in life is, so the Bible lets you know that the whole duty of man is to fear God and to keep his commandments. So that's our basic function. That's our basic purpose. Love our neighbors as ourselves. Love. But as men, there's a role that we play in society. We build, we protect, we provide. But the key purpose of a woman, do women really know it? I might not even say it in this video. It is right there in the foundation, the Bible. In Genesis, it is right there. When Eve was given to Adam, God told Adam why Eve was being given to him. He saw that Adam was lonely. And what did he say? I am going to give him a helpmeet. So the foundational purpose of a woman is to support, is to help a man to be the best that he can be. A woman was put here. One of the main purpose of a woman is to help to support a good man to be the best that he can be. While he provides for her, he supports her. He provides for her. He protects her. She's supposed to be there while he's providing and working hard. She's supposed to, in the background, be a great support. Whatever she can do, give him good ideas. Cook a, cook a meal for him so that when he doesn't have to do 9 to 5 and still be coming home to cooking for himself. 
She's there as good support. She's there as good help. But the world is kind of twisted now. The foundation is lost. Women don't know their purpose. Men don't know their purpose. So the world is upside down. So she touched on that topic of purpose. But I don't even know if she knows her purpose. Maybe she truly knew her purpose. Maybe she still would be married. But I don't know what happened while she's divorced. I'm not even going to go there. But Steve is giving her good advice. What you want is not in any of these three men. But does she really know what she wants? Is she just one of those high-minded women that cannot be pleased? Looking for the perfect man that probably does not exist or would not be interested in her. The perfect man that she's probably looking for is probably not going to be interested in her. She probably lost a man that was close to, close to perfect or could have reached perfection. Because nobody is born perfect. Nobody is born good. Nobody is perfect from the beginning. We become better as we go along. We become better from experience. Sometimes you have to be willing to stick with the one that is imperfect and help him to become perfect, help him to grow, help him to become better. Men, I know, are usually willing to listen and learn and grow. And if you put a man in a situation where he has to learn something, especially when he's back against the wall, he will learn and he will try to grow. But sometimes these women doesn't even give the men time to grow to become perfect before they walk away. Before they walk away. One thing I know, men are usually willing to learn, to grow, to try to be patient. Why is she not with her husband now and she's out there trying to find the perfect man that doesn't exist. She's trying to find all the characters in three different men. Because the one man doesn't have it or the one man that has it all is not interested in her. Ah. Let's start over. Okay. I can do that. That's it. That's it. <laughs> Thank you. Oh. So, I seem as if I successfully reacted to this video, so I'm going to be posting it. If you are watching this channel for the first time or not, I recommend that you hit that subscribe button below and hit that bell so that you can be notified when we release these life-changing videos. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.